How's it going, my beautiful friends? My name is Gary, and this is my channel, Weakest of Weeks. If you're a first-time viewer, I appreciate you clicking on the video, and definitely consider subscribing. Today, we're doing a down and dirty fork rebuild on this pair of Buell forks. Now, these particular ones came off my 2007 Buell XB12S Lightning with the standard suspension. Part number for the left is right there. Part number for the right. So these exact same forks can be found 2005 to 2008, I believe, on the two different Lightning and Firebolt models, the XB9s, the XB12s, so on and so forth, the Lightning Longs, all of that stuff have these forks, exception being the SCGs, the Lightning Lows, the Yulees, all of those had different forks. But for these ones, 54 millimeter top clamp size, 56 millimeter lower triple tree clamp size, and the internals, I believe, are 43 millimeter. So we're gonna tear into these, like I said, down and dirty fork rebuild kit. We have some all balls, dust seals and oil seals here. Got some Motul fork oil, went with the 10W medium. Quit rambling, let's go ahead and tear into it. We're gonna go ahead and remove this upper cap. Obviously, you can start by draining the lower section here, um, but for me, I'm just gonna pop off this cap tip it into the drain pan and dump it out that way. We have inch and a quarter socket impact. We're gonna go ahead and knock this top cap loose. Tip it over, drain what fluid we can out now. And then once we start removing everything else, we'll drain out the remainder. It's good enough for now. What is very important to have is this universal fork removal tool. I'll link one in the description if you don't have one already. And this is another piece that is part of the universal fork kit. So it definitely helps to have two people on standby, but this is possible doing it by yourself. So what this does, the fork removal tool, you push it down to get access to the nut. You slide this blockage plate, whatever you want to call it, into there. So then we have access to the 14 millimeter nut to knock this loose. And then this top blue section is 17 mil. So with holding this 14 millimeter wrench on that bottom lock nut, turn the 17 millimeter blue section counterclockwise to loosen, and then Unthread it by hand, we'll be able to remove this piece right here and set it to the side. There's a closer look of exactly what this little blockage plate goes under. All right, so take note exactly how everything comes apart. I'll go ahead and remove this universal fork tool. This metal washer, the nylon piece, set that to the side. And we have the center collar with this black rubber piece right there. We'll go ahead and try to remove a bit more of the oil, but note, whenever you tip it over, you're going to lose the spraying. So what I want to do is remove this dust seal. You can use a hook tool or a flat blade screwdriver. Just be careful if you're using a screwdriver like myself not to mar up this end. It's pretty easy to do. It's kind of some soft metal. Just work your way around. That should pop right out. And then with that dust sealed up and removed, you might be able to see there's a small metal retaining ring on the inside. We just need to get a screwdriver in there to pop that out. Pretty simple. Go ahead and flip this like such, and now you can use the fork as kind of like a slide hammer. So now we have the upper. 
bumper tube removed. Now you can just get a small screwdriver, stick it in the slit that separates that, set it to the side. We have kind of this like outer bushing. We have this metal spacer. We have the oil seal. This top section, at least the All Balls branded version, has kind of this extra lip right there. The top facing up is kind of countersunk in. And then bottom most facing this fork leg is basically totally flat. So looking at that fork leg, this version is going to go just like that. Going back to the disassembly, next up we have that metal retaining ring. And then lastly, the really petrified and somewhat cracking dust seal. The other side of this that I've done off camera before this, that was in incredibly bad shape. This one not as bad. Reverse order, not too awfully terrible. We have the dust seal. There is a specific orientation. The tapered down portion goes down. Now with this bushing removed, there is a substantial lip here. You can actually wrap something like electrical tape to get over this to kind of make it smooth. I definitely suggest just kind of adding a little bit of oil to this so it slides a little bit better. Dust seal, we have the metal retaining ring. Next up, we have the oil seal. Again, we'll add a little bit of oil. Do this and the most flat portion of it goes down the section that is kind of indented if you will goes facing up and the metal spacer Have the outside bushing and then we have the inner bushing. And of course, you can replace these if you really wanted to, but again, this is kind of a down and dirty rebuild, so these are in pretty decent shape, so we're gonna run what we brung on this deal. We have the upper fork leg. We'll slide on like such. All right, so now there's a couple different ways you can go ahead and knock all this stuff in. I'm gonna get this oil seal out of the way. So what we have right now is the inner bushing, the outer bushing kind of floating, and this metal ring floating. So we want to set this in place, kind of line that up. Is take something like a handy dandy seal seating tool. I don't know what exactly you call it. But this is something that I made just out of a inch and a half piece of PVC pipe I got at my local hardware store. Cut it down to about three to four inches and then cut about an inch of it so we can just kind of pop it over top or around this fork leg piece and then just go ahead and use this kind of like a slide hammer. What we're doing is seating that metal bushing So right now we have that metal bushing and then the metal ring in place. We need to slide the actual oil seal down. And that's the next thing on the list that we need to seat in this upper fork tube. Again, take the homemade seal tool, put it in there and use the weight of the fork as a slide hammer. Now the oil seal is nice and seated, ready to reseat this metal retaining ring. Lastly, the dust seal. All right, so now that we have Paisley seal of approval, what we need to do is 
The next important thing is the fork oil. So for me, I'm using some Motul 10 weight expert fork oil. As far as the amount, this container is one liter, which I believe translates to 34 fluid ounces. And technically I believe what the manual calls for is one pint or 16 ounce per fork. So technically speaking, if you split this up 50-50, half of this liter in one fork, half in the other, you'll be one ounce over per fork. You'll be at 17 ounces, but realistically for like myself, you're probably gonna spill a couple drops here and there, so you'll be all right. We're filling up the center rod here. We're filling the outside, and then now we're moving the center dampening rod up and down to try to get any air bubbles out, because that will cause issues down the line. Go ahead and reinstall the universal fork tool. Probably not the proper way to do it, but it works. You need this nylon and then the metal washer at the top. Go ahead and drop that center dampening rod down into place. And screw it clockwise. Now we need to get this 14 millimeter in here. Top it off with any extra oil. Now we're gonna tighten this upper cap. So get your hand around the upper fork tube here. Get your impact with the inch and a quarter socket and cinch this thing down. And of course, don't forget if you remove this retaining ring that kind of goes underneath the upper triple tree, make sure you reinstall it. Oftentimes I feel like you have to kind of bend this back a little bit in of itself, otherwise it's just a bit too loose. So there you go, it's nice and tight on the fork. That's going to wrap it up on today's video of doing a very down and dirty quick fork rebuild on your Buell XB forks. And in case you're wondering, this is officially a fork tool. So be sure to check out your local auto parts store, your advanced Napa zone near you for this on the shelf. So if this video helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I hope to catch your friends on the next one.